Okay, so here is my uh, honest-to-goodness insider view of VidSnatcher 2.0. If you don't know what this is, this is essentially a video editing program, but it's done on the web, so it's actually in Chrome. I'm in the Chrome browser. And the thing about this is a web-based video editor usually is not very good. Most of the ones that I've tried have been terrible. There have been some really good ones as well, but most of them are really terrible. This one here is actually not too bad. It's got some really good positives, and it's got some things that you may want to look out for uh, depending upon what you're trying to do. So first and foremost, this is not a replacement for something like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. If you are a higher end video editor, this is not something that's going to replace those. And, and I don't want anybody be, to be fooled into thinking that that's what this is. This is a fairly simple video editor for people that either are just trying to get into video editing and don't want to spend hundreds of dollars and spend a year learning how to do all the advanced features of Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere or uh, DaVinci or anything like that. This is a much simpler solution for that. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it doesn't need to for most people. This is going to help you to get projects done that you want to do for clients. Maybe you just need to modify an instant spokesperson video or create a, a quick explainer video or something like that. This is going to work out really well for you, and it's very easy. So taking a look at it, it is a traditional editor. You've got your timeline here. You've got your, your screen here. This is your stage or, you know, various different words, your output screen, whatever you want to call it. Over here, you've got all of your assets, and we'll go over that in a second. Over here, these are the properties that you can adjust for those assets. And then up here, there's a couple extra tools and project-based things like saving and exporting and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, down in the middle, you've also got a green screen tool, which we'll show you a little bit of. It's, it's not the best tool in the world, but it can get the job done. And then over here, you've got a voice recorder and a, a screen recorder, and those are nice. That that really can help. Um, you know, you just click the button and you record your voice, or click the button, record your screen, and then you can edit based on that. So if you're on the road, if you're on your laptop, this can be a great alternative to get work done in places where you might not normally be able to get it done, or if you've wanted to get into video editing, but you just didn't want to spend the money and the time, this can be a good alternative. Okay, so... Let's play around with this a little bit. So first and foremost, inside your media area, this is where you can import things that you have. You can also import them from a URL. You can do mobile uploads. And over here, you've got resources from Pexels and, Pexib and Pixabay. So if you want to grab some things from there, you can. So I'm going to import some media. And for this one, I'm going to import uh, this instant spokesperson video with music. So that we can just very quickly do a, an instant spokesperson modification. So you can see how easily you can do that in here anyway. So we're going to hit open and this is going to take a few moments. So I'm going to pause the video while this loads up. Okay, so we have our video loaded and what we're going to do is we're going to take that. We're just going to drag that into our timeline down here. And there's our video in the timeline that you can see I put it in layer one. There's also a layer zero and a layer two here. And that way we can put things above and below if we need to. And if you need more layers, you can always add more and you can move things around. So if you want to move it from one layer to another, you can do that very easily. It's very responsive, which is great because many of these online video editors are not responsive. The other cool thing about this is when you hit play. If you're looking for a bookkeeping service for your business, plays very smoothly, which is really exciting because, again, that's usually a weakness of these online editors is that they don't play back very smoothly, and this one does. So that's a really good thing. Um, any editing that you want to do, you can grab the edge and adjust, which is nice, and it's very responsive. So, again, that's a really good thing. Up here, you can adjust where you're moving across there as well. Okay. And if you want to zoom in or out on your timeline, you can do that from here. That way you can fit it in there as best you want and see the different things that you want to do in here. Over here, you've got your tools. These are your redo and undos. This is your copy. This is your cut. This is your paste. And this is your break. So if you want to break it, you can. And then you've got your zoom in and out buttons as well as that slider that I showed you. Okay. It's nice and easy. Boom, boom. And now over here, you've got your volume as well. So you can adjust your volume. And you've got your snapping turned on here. So that is if you've got two pieces of media that you put in here, they'll snap together so that you don't have to sit there and adjust it and make sure that it's right on the edge of the, the last piece. It'll actually snap to that for you, which is nice. And then you've also got on here the ability to 
turn off layers so that you don't have to see them if you don't want to see them for whatever reason. Okay, so this is an instant spokesperson video. So what we need to do with this one, as with all instant spokesperson videos, is we want to get to the end of this. And then once we get to the end, we're going to uh, add in, zoom out of there for a second, our little contact us here. So we're going to come to the end, right where this contact us comes in here. And this is where we're going to add in a phone number, a website, whatever it is that you need to put in here. Now you'll notice that in our media area, you've got your media that you bring in. And, and if this didn't have music, we could bring in music and drop that into a layer as well. But you can come in here and you can add things like icons. And there's a lot of these nice little gimmicks in here, just a ton of them. And they work just like any other piece of media. So if you wanted to add this in here for whatever reason, you wanted to add this dollar bill in there, all you have to do is drag that in. Now, notice when I do this, it's going to pop it to the beginning. So if you try to drag it, if you try to drag it in there at first, it's always going to pop it to the beginning. So you have to grab it and bring it to the end. Okay. And we're going to lengthen it out to kind of match the end of this video. Now, what's cool about this is watch how easy it is to adjust this. Again, with an online video editor, this is not always that easy to do. It seems like it would be very easy to move these things around and resize them. But in a lot of the online editors, they're very, very clunky. This one's actually pretty good and it's speedy. So if we wanted to put this in here, we can twist it, which I did accidentally, but that shows you how you can twist it around. And we can bring that and put that anywhere we want here. So if we want to put that here, we can do that. Okay. And that'll work really well. You can um, adjust that. You can always take this and just move it out of the way if you don't want it to. Okay. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to here and this is where we're going to add in our text. So over here, you've got your ability to add text to your video. So we're going to say uh, the phone number is 888-888-8888. Okay. And you can come in here and you can do, you know, anything you want to make it look prettier. Okay. You can change your font color. You can change your stroke if you want to. You can change the font size, all of that from in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit add text and move it up into this layer here. And so now you can see our text there as we created it. So there you can see the orange color, the stroke, the size. And if you need to make any adjustments to this, you can always make adjustments to it. You can actually just scale it like an image to fit it in there, drag it to where you want. Okay. And of course, anytime you want to change any of these things, if you wanted to change color, you can come in and change the colors in here to whatever it is that you want. So if we wanted to go with a nice white, we can do that very quickly and very easily. Whoops. Except that I accidentally put it on black afterwards. Okay. So there's our kind of white creamish color. Now you can come in here. You can change your size if you want to, but we adjusted that manually. You can change your font. You can also change your stroke or add a stroke if you want to. So if we wanted to add a two stroke there, you can see boop, that kind of boop, makes it a little uh, bolder, which is kind of nice. And you still have your bolds and italics down here as well, but we can adjust any of this. And then if you wanted to add more, you can add more to this, like, um, you know, abc.com if that's their website. And, and by the way, I would almost recommend that instead of doing it as a two line system, that what you would do is just add a second piece of text. That's abc.com. But you don't have to, you can do it either way. And that's a, you know, very basic way to quickly adjust our instant spokesperson videos, uh, because they don't require a lot of, a lot of work to uh, adjust them here. Just adding in that text is perfect. Now you could add text, you know, into the video during, you know, throughout the whole thing. If you wanted to, you can also come in and you can add shapes to this. So for instance, if we wanted to, we could come in and we could add in a shape. Okay and we can adjust the size of that shape and, and mess around with that till the cows come home and figure out exactly what we want to do with it. So we could put that in the corner here and we could put information. We could change the color if we wanted to. Let's come in here and make it black. Oh, well, it looks like I spun it a little bit, didn't I? So I'm gonna put that back there. That's all right, we'll, we'll leave it like that. That's kind of cool. So you could do something like this and then we could come in and we could even adjust the opacity of it like this. Okay. And then we could even stretch this out through most of the video if we wanted to, just like so, and have it end right at our text there. And then we could put in uh, some text on top of that. So let's um, just do a phone number here, add that text. 
Again, for whatever reason, it likes to drop it to the bottom. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to move this up. And so now we're going to take this text. We're going to put it on here, just like so. We can resize it. And so now we got a cool little corner graphic there with the text on it. And again, we can adjust this all the way till we get to the end. And now throughout our video, it's going to have this nice little graphic on there. Very cool, very easy. Okay. Now over here, we've got our transitions. So we can add transitions in here. We don't really have much to do transitions with, but if we wanted to, we could certainly add some transitions to this. Um, if we wanted it to uh, slide in from right or slide out, we can do that. Okay. Let's click that button there. We can see the transition is now in here. And then now that's going to make that fly out of here. Just like so. Okay. So you can add any of those types of transitions in there. You, you can also do them coming in. So it doesn't have to just be coming out. You can actually add them coming in. So if you wanted to have one at the beginning of this, when it comes in, uh, and let's say from the bottom, you can do that. And so now when we go back to the beginning here and we hit play, you see it flies up nice and easy. Okay. Any of those types of graphics, very easy to do in this program. It does it very quickly. And you can do that to pretty much anything that's on the screen. We could do that to this black background. We can make that fly in if we wanted to. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the music area, because you do have some music that's built in, but you can also bring in your own music and sounds as well. Over here, you've got one of my, normally one of my least favorite things. However, this is actually not too bad. And this is the uh, text to voice stuff here. So I'm going to put in a little text to voice just to uh, test this out. So uh, I am text to voice. Okay. And you can choose your language in here, which we don't need to translate it. So it's fine. You can choose whether it's wave or standard. You're going to want to leave it at wave. The language on that is English mail and we'll go with uh, United States. And now we can hit search voices. And that's going to bring in a couple of different voices we can choose from. So let's just choose this guy here and listen. I am text to voice. Really not bad. I am text to voice. Usually text to voice is awful. And this is actually really usable. So we can add this to our library now. And now once we do that, you'll see it actually brings it in here just like with any other item that we want. So if we wanted to add this to here just like we did with other things, we can just drop it in here. And now, of course, it doesn't make sense that it's there, but I am text to voice. Okay. So at the end of our video, it says I am text to voice. Once we're done creating this, now, obviously, <laughs> we may not want to have some of these things in here that we have, but uh, once we're done with this, you're going to want to come in here. You're going to want to make sure that you save your project. So we're going to save this as uh, test one and hit save. Okay, project is saved. And now we can come back and edit that later. Or if we've got a remote person that helps us, we can now send this to them. They can do all the rest of the work on it. And that's what's really cool about this is you can start working here. You can save it and share it to somebody else. They can log in and they can do it the rest of the work for you. Uh, once you're done, you can always export your video as well. Okay, and now it's in the queue. And so in just a little bit, that video will be ready. And, uh, you know, it gives you the warning here that you got to save beforehand, which we did. So we're good with that. So in just a little while, this is going to end up in our, um, our membership area where we can access the final video again. So very cool little program. Again, is this going to replace Final Cut Pro? Not necessarily, but it is going to allow you to do some nice projects very quickly and very easily. You can see we add the text, we add the animations to the text. Uh, we could come in here, we could do slideshows and have the slideshows slide in and out and do all that kind of fun stuff. We can do explainer type videos in that way. And it's just going to be a really nice, simple video editor that will allow you to do things that you might not be able to do normally, or that maybe you're on the road and you need to be able to do, but you you know, your laptop doesn't have a gigantic program that takes up all the hard drive space. This is going to help you to be able to do that. So uh, overall, nice little program. Hope you guys check it out. If you're looking to edit videos, especially like instant spokesperson videos, you saw how quickly and easily we could do that. You could literally get a client that wants an instant spokesperson video and bring your laptop with you and put it together right there in front of them and have it ready to go in, in five or 
10 minutes. So it's a very good program for that because it is web-based. You can do it from anywhere. Again, not the most powerful video editor in the world, but it's not meant to be. It's meant to be for people that need to get projects done, simple projects very quickly. That's exactly what it does. And it does a pretty good job of it. So if you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to reach out. I'll be glad to answer those questions and we'll talk to you soon.